Oh my god! <laughs> this one! Oh my god! Okay. nice back again and to be sitting down and talking to all of you <laughs> okay today i'll be talking about um, one beautiful memory that i've had here in the philippines and this is also something i'll be taking back home with me so on this particular day i was at ayala museum here in makati i think i went for a school project we had to do a research on philippines history as i got into the museum the ground floor i was about to sign in and then someone like said excuse me are you a model and i was like uh i am not a model but i actually go to a design school here in the philippines i study fashion design when i tell people i study fashion design here in the philippines they're like really that's another story entirely. We started talking and he said that he's an artist and he also works with um, other groups of artists. Some of them are already really advanced and some of them are still learning how to draw, how to sketch. So he said um, they have classes here on a particular day, like today right now. And if I would like to be their still model, if I would like to post for them, then um, whenever I'm available. I told him that I'm free next week. And we made that plans and the following week I showed up for this sit down <laughs> for this sit down um, of me being sketched no I didn't really take it as serious as anything so I arrived the next day and the Kuya introduced me to all of his colleagues all of his friends and then they told me to sit down and then they started the sketching session so today i'll be showing you guys the sketches i'll be telling you what i like about them and then i'll just be telling you also like the emotion how i felt as i sat down and i was being sketched actually on that day i came back from a shoot on that particular day i actually had a shoot so because on a normal day i'm I, i'm not like the person this person that wear um, a lot of makeup just very minimal so i came from another another shoot so i was a bit tired and then <laughs> when i came to this sketching session right so i had like makeup on and it started sketching right and one thing you guys will probably see is that um in this particular time i had already cut off my hair because i got frustrated a bit it got difficult finding someone to make my hair in that particular time so i just cut it all off so today what i'll be doing is i'll just be going through this memory with you guys and be sharing some the ones that i like and the ones that I feel like <laughs> do not truly really represent <laughs> who I am. Kuya, if you're watching, thank you so much for the opportunity and it was really nice to model for you guys. I think what was really shocking for me was that after they finished sketching me, they gave me the pictures. That was the most amazing part because I thought that maybe they were going to take it home or something like that. But they gave it to me and I was like, you know what, I'm going to take this with me to Nigeria. I'm going to frame it all up, probably in my bedroom. I have here. So some of the artists use watercolor, some of them use pencil, some of them use, um, I think someone even used like a pen, a big to sketch. I'm going to start with the first one, <laughs> this one here, look at that, you see with my, that's me and my short hair, this is my neck right, and this was how I, I literally posed with my neck out like that. So when I saw the pictures that they took, I was like, oh my god. I the way I sat down, I I was just, you know, I just kinda like let myself go. So this is like my neck stretching out. But I think this person was trying to capture my skin tone. Yeah? Because as you can see, like that color, even if you look at my skin right now. So, so I think this is what like this person was trying to achieve. This is close to what I was wearing, but um in a lighter version. My hair, hairline is good, and yeah, this is my, actually when I saw this, this is my exact pose, this is exactly how I pose, this is another one, another sketch right here, look at them side by side, you see that my neck is also like stretched out here, this artist used a different color for my skin, actually I think it started with um, the, almost my skin color like this one, and then this person just went into the gray color but they got my cheekbones <laughs> which are quite prominent this artist captured the lightness of my eyes and my nose and even my lip i almost feel like i'm gonna jump out of this picture <laughs> 
this one <laughs> not so much of me the neck is really long and I this will probably be what I would look like when I get old <laughs> I'm sure this person was thinking oh let me just draw her as an old woman and this is what I get I also love the rendition of my clothing here I didn't really know that I wasn't giving my best pose the way my face look so they probably capture like the feeling in my eye but it was later on that I realized that I think I might have messed up or something. This would be a, like an older version of me. Yeah. <laughs> but the next one, this is actually bigger. I folded it backward. This person actually got a, a side view of me because they were all surrounding me right? like an arc. So this person really captured my hair, my skin, the eyebrow is nice. I'm not sure if it's mine yeah let me see yeah usually that's how my eyebrow disappears this is the earring I was wearing this is my ear it's really beautiful my nose is a bit too long <laughs> yeah look at that the dress this person really captured the dress even the bra the way my breast was sitting I wasn't wearing like the most amazing <laughs> bra that evening I actually like this depiction then this person this is Kuya Louis Fernando. <laughs> he captured me in pen. Yeah, look at that. We just brief sketches. Is it pen? It looks like no, this is not pen. He used the purple um chalk or something. But he also got a side view of me. And you see, I told you about my facial expression, right? I look really mean, like mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this one! Oh my god! Okay. In regards to this, I would say this is one of my favorite because this person wasn't trying to capture my skin tone. I think he made like a dreamy version of me. I feel like whenever I look at this picture, for me, it feels like I'm in a dream. It feels like, you know, there is somebody else, like a goddess or something. That's what. This feels like and the way he used the colors and you know just the mixture of everything he wasn't really so particular about like you know even the hair there's like all sorts of mixture but the like the outline of my face of my my the emotions in my eyes this clear gave me a beautiful emotion because if you look at the other pictures you see that you see that the emotions are, con are consistent, but he kind of like uplifted my emotion, you know, kind of straightened my neck a little bit. He just um, portrayed me in this beautiful color. So this is one of my favorite. Oh my God, yeah. Right, what do you guys think? This is really, really beautiful. Yeah. I told you about the main face, right? See, this person really got it here. Got it, the lip color is right. The bust is my nose. This, <laughs> the cheekbone is right, the neck is perfect the hair too it's an easy way to just catch me like oh okay eyes nose but this is also really good this person was really trying to capture my likeness do we look alike the position is right this was like probably from the angle that they got it from i have cheeks so i guess that was been depicted here i have small eyes but this person kind of reminds me that i do have small eyes <laughs> this would be another favorite of mine look at that this person was really going in with like the see with like the with, with my color and they almost got it even with like the undertone the size of my face the eyes is correct the nose yeah the lip is perfect even the underneath my jaw the dress is perfect the hair even the way the hair looks like this will be one of the close um sketches that i've seen in this and then for this one this is by jonah ma person was also probably thinking that i think this girl is a goddess she is a princess and I don't know but this is how I feel about this this person isn't trying to capture me this person is trying to elevate me I think there was like an outline of a dress right but then I think the person just said no I'm not going to 
dress you up i'm just gonna put colors around you to make you look floaty this is me but in a different dimension entirely it's a more elevated version of abby and i had just so much fun they took lots of pictures and selfies and it was just so beautiful beautiful experience and i just cannot wait to display all of this in nigeria thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and see you in my next one bye bye